how seizures differ from epilepsy. Even though seizures and epilepsy are closely related, but often mistaken one for the other. There are key differences between these two medical terms, and understanding them could mean the difference between life and death for those who are affected. The main difference between a seizure and epilepsy is that seizures are a single occurrence while epilepsy is a medical condition. Though seizures are one of the most characteristic symptoms of epilepsy, not everyone who has seizures suffers from epilepsy. In the case of a seizure, small disruptions in neuron interactions can cause twitches or spasms. The sudden electrical discharges in the brain can cause changes in behavior and consciousness. Non-epileptic seizures are not associated with abnormal electrical activity in the brain and may be caused by psychological issues or stress. A non-epileptic seizure looks like a true seizure, which makes diagnosis more difficult. Other seizures not associated with epilepsy are called provoked seizures. It may occur as a result of trauma, low blood sugar or drug abuse. These are not associated with epilepsy. Epilepsy is a medical condition that occurs because of abnormal electrical activity in the brain. These abnormal electrical signals can cause seizures. The condition is relatively common, and according to the Epilepsy Foundation, is the fourth most common neurological disorder, affecting an estimated 3 million Americans. If someone has a seizure, it's important to ensure that the individual is kept safe until a medical professional can be reached, prevent them from hurting during the seizure. Try to put them on their side so that any saliva or vomit does not obstruct their airways, but do not hold them down as this can lead to even more injury. Contrary to popular belief, do not put anything into their mouth, as this could chip their teeth. However, if the individual seems to be having difficulty breathing after the seizure has ended, gently clear their mouth of any saliva or vomit so they do not suffocate. In the case of epilepsy, there are many medical venues to control the condition and reduce the likelihood of the patient having a seizure. The condition can be controlled with medication, although in some cases surgery may also be required. Thank you.